A very good evening, everybody. Welcome to Christmas at Home. How wonderful to see you. And, uh, well, as you can see, we've got lots of people here. I'm just going to click over to the comments so I can say hello to all of you. Um, here we go. Make the noise with me. Here we go. There we go. A very, very good evening, everybody. Let's see who's here. Uh, oh, well, that, that answers my question. Does the sound work? So who's here? My goodness, so many people. So hello to Ruth. I hope you're feeling better. Uh, hello, Pauline. Hello, Angela and Nina and Jennifer. Jennifer's already in the Christmas spirit. Fantastic. Uh, looks like we've got lots of people uh, here for the first time. A very, very good evening for joining us for the first time. Uh, well, welcome to Self-Isolation Choir. My name's Ben, uh, and I'll be telling you all about this wonderful course that we have uh, lined up for you. Christmas at home, everybody. Now, um, as you can see, my studio here has been festivised, and uh, I do have the appropriate headgear. I was waiting until uh, I popped up on screen, but um, I, it just has to be done. I've got the headphones on, everybody. I had to get extra large ones to fit the headphones. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't be wearing this throughout. It'll be far too, uh, far too distracting. But, you know, it, it is so nearly Christmas, everybody. And I know that most of us, particularly uh, people like me, who spend a lot of time making Christmas music, uh, I'm afraid I would normally be saying, oh, no, it's far too early for Christmas. It is absolutely not too early for Christmas. My family and I spent the weekend putting up Christmas decorations around the house. The tree is up. And uh, I mean, part of it is, has been getting all this ready uh, to, to share with you today. Ladies and gentlemen, the music for our course is wonderful. I can't wait to share it with you. Um, but I'm going to have a little chat with everybody here. I'll do a sound check in a minute. Eileen, oh, I'm sorry to hear the bo Gina says her boilers bust. Oh, Gina, I hope you get that fixed soon. Uh, Gillian's got mince pies. I hope you bought enough for the whole class. Hello, Diane and George. Great to see you. Uh, if you now look, if you are new, everybody, if you're here for the first time, please just pop a comment uh, in the chat and just say that I'm here for the first time, and then just be ready for the the wave. Uh, of friendship and love that's going to come your way all right so and if you're not subscribed yet do click that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything and you'll get a, a, an alert whenever we go online um, and if you wouldn't mind also please clicking the like button that all helps us uh, okay so everybody so I'm just going to do a very very quick sound check uh, just a couple of bits and pieces so if you're listening along on headphones uh, uh, or, or playing out through speakers you might just want to sneak the the sound levels down just while I play these things just in case they are a little on the loud side so we'll start with something really quite loud we'll start with a bit of Messiah so just turn those volumes down for me everybody just for a moment here's a bit of for unto us a child is born <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, let's have something a little quieter. Let's have a bit of. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't play that yet. Let's have a bit of rutter. Let's have what sweeter music. Here we go. And Mark at home, could you just send me a text and let me know how that's sounding? Thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he already has. <laughs> Splendid. And just, do you know what? I'm going to play the first four bars of Patrick's piece. Here we go. There we are. Right, everybody. I think the sound is working. Uh, all is well. Everything's loaded up. I've got my scores. I hope everyone has got their scores. Okay, please, uh, please make sure you've checked your email from Mark. You've got your PDFs ready. Um, the music is spread across multiple PDFs, um, so please make sure you've got all that ready. Um, you should have. Let me see. Uh, you, you do need to have your uh, your SIC Christmas OUP score pack. Uh, you need to have things like Silent Night, Lullaby, My Jesus, Still, Still the Night and the In the Bleak Midwinter by Harold Dark. I, what I do like about our copy of In the Bleak Midwinter, and all of these, of course, are, are licensed, and huge thanks um, to uh, all of the publishers who've worked with us on this. 
that, that we've been able to get these scores for you. Um, but the In the Bleak Midwinter score is labelled here, Dark in the BMW. <laughs> and I, I just, that tickled me this afternoon, everybody. In the BMW. It's a completely different carol. Okay, so how is everybody? Music sounds great, says Trisha. That's brilliant. Jane, can anyone tell me has Ben appeared? Okay, uh, as long as everybody can see me, can someone please tell Jane to refresh? Because uh, I can see me. So if Jane can't see me, then uh, hopefully she's in the minority. Everyone's got the score already. Brenda is very excited about the Patrick Hawes. Oh, my goodness me, it is so, so lovely. And um, I'll tell you something. Those of you who have been with the choir uh, from the beginning, and you know really what Patrick Hawes' music means to us, the the piece was written for the self-isolation choir. I've just seen a bit of uh, fluff on my nose. Written for the self-isolation choir, and, and the music uh, is so, so beautiful. The words, though, ladies and gentlemen, the words by Andrew Hawes, who also, of course, wrote the words for Quanta Qualia, are so beautiful. Uh, just wait until you hear it, honestly. It's so, so lovely. So, how is everybody doing? Joan has missed singing for the past week. Well, we missed you, Joan. It's lovely to have you back. Hello, Eloise. Hello, Suzanne and Stacy from New Orleans. Great to see you. Hello, Bronwyn. Hello, Philomena. Hello, Alexandra. Oh, brilliant. Jane is here. Hi, Jane. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. We were just killing time till you got here. <laughs> Hello, Rosalind. Oh, it's so lovely to have so many people back. Hi, Gloria. Hope the stream keeps going today. I don't think we'll have a problem, Gloria. I think the stream is, is <laughs> the stream is flowing, is it not? Oh, fantastic. Anna has finished the Brahms. Well done, my goodness. Well done. And before we start, this is just my opportunity to talk to you, uh, everybody who's joining us. If you were involved in that Mahler performance, can I just... Well, I'm not wearing a hat, but I will take my headphones off to you and give you a round of applause. That was unbelievable. I've, I've never seen anything like that. And I was involved with Messiah at home. You might have noticed. And that was that was something that Mahler on Saturday was amazing. That really was that was the self isolation choir saying to the world, "Look at us, yeah, we're here. We're not going anywhere, and we can do this." It was amazing. And you might have noticed, everybody, uh, those of you in the UK, uh, there was a plug on Sunday morning, yesterday morning on Radio Three. Uh, we're starting to to get people's attention, and rightly so. So everybody involved with the Marla, cheers. I shall, I shall sip my peppermint tea at you. Well done. Oh, splendid. So, oh, Jan is agreeing. Marla was out of this world. No, it was absolutely staggering. I still can't quite believe uh, what not just the choir, but the orchestra managed to put together. No, it was absolutely wonderful. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are obviously here for Christmas music. And um, I do hope that wherever you are in the world, you're looking forward uh, to the season. As I've said, here in, in our house, we've been putting up decorations all weekend. Uh, I'm already, as you can see, tinsel everywhere, even on the microphone. Okay, if everything in this room is becoming increasingly festive, and uh, including myself. Where's my hat gone? There we go. For those who've just arrived, I do have the hat, and it just about fits over the headphones. <laughs> but it's the widescreen version. I shall put that on from time to time. Oh, that's great. Lots of people saying the Marla was incredibly impressive. Hello, Regina. Great to see you. Hello, Nina. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hello, Charlotte. Great to see you as well. Good evening. Hello, Sue. Now, if you are new, everybody, if you've never been to Self-Isolation Choir before, or if we haven't seen you for a while, please do pop up in the comments and say uh, that you're new. And everybody, if you see somebody, if your comment pops up next to somebody who's new, well, say hello to them. All right? It's just like in a normal choir rehearsal. If there's somebody near you who's new, turn around, say hi, find out how they are. All right, folks? Fabulous. Naomi says, I look grand. Thank you. <laughs> we try. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be making a start in under a minute. So could I invite you to make sure that you have everything you need for the next hour? You need your scores. You need some hydration solution, some water, ideally. All right, but it's entirely up to you. Just something so you can stay hydrated throughout the session. Please make sure your phones are on silent, that you have this next hour blocked out because it's your time. <laughs> 
All right, everyone. So thank you so much for your wonderful comments. Thank you for being here. Now, do please carry on chatting throughout the rehearsal if you want to. Uh, and that's a big part of why we're here. All right. So thank you again, everybody, for uh, your lovely comments, for being here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move your comments out of the way. I'm not going to go full screen. I'm just going to move them to one side because I have hidden behind your comments a rather exciting chart, ladies and gentlemen, uh, which I will talk about in just a moment. But it, I need to start the broadcast properly. So um, I will do that. A very, very good evening, everybody. Welcome to Christmas at home. It's a huge pleasure to be here with all of you and I know that we're welcoming a number of new people to the choir so a very good evening to all of you. My name is Ben and welcome to the Self-Isolation Choir. This amazing group that started with an idea in March and has now become I think the busiest choir in the world. Uh, we've recorded this year Handel's Messiah, Vivaldi's Gloria, Marla II, we're working on Elijah, we've got Christmas now, Mozart Requiem to come, and, and the delights just keep coming. Uh, our Christmas programme, ladies and gentlemen, is a nine lessons and carols, a very traditional uh, carol service, if you like, um, and we will be uh, sharing the, the performance with a number of our wonderful colleagues and friends uh, that we've made over the course of the year. So, uh, as I say, a very, very warm welcome to all of you. Let me very quickly, before I talk you through this chart and explain uh, what we're doing, uh, just run through the process for the next few weeks. So we're starting a three-week uh, block here where we will rehearse in what, what I think of as the traditional way. So we have a full choir rehearsal on a Monday. Tomorrow we have sopranos, then it's altos, tenors and basses on each of the nights of the week. OK, so it's entirely up to you which part you want to sing. If you want to come to more than one rehearsal, we love seeing you. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're a soprano but you want to come along and sing with the tenors or with the basses, please come along, please chat in the comments. Uh, I often get altos coming along saying, hello, errant alto here, I'll put the chairs out. Uh, so you're very, very welcome at all of the rehearsals. We will learn all the music that we'll be performing over the next three weeks. Um, and then in the last two weeks of the course, on the 7th and 14th of December, we will have full choir rehearsals to just revise what we've already done. And then the performance is on uh, December the 20th. Now, my wonderful colleague, Mark, who you will see in the comments, he's the chap who pops up in the yellow box. Uh, he will keep uh, keep you all up to date with all the emails and uh, and all the information that you need. So please do read Mark's emails when he sends them to you. Now. In terms of taking part in the music for this year, as you can see from my chart, there's quite a lot of music going on. So I'm very quickly going to summarise what we're doing and then please do, as I say, watch out for the email from Mark. We're going to be singing uh, a range of wonderful Christmas music, including traditional Christmas carols. So the carols that we'll be singing, as you'll probably have seen from our pack, well, we're going to sing Once in Royal David City. We're going to sing O Come Ye Faithful, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Those are the big congregational type carols. We're also going to be singing uh, Silent Night, a really lovely, very, very simple choral version of that. Uh, we also have some very special uh, Christmas music in the form of In the Bleak Midwinter by Harold Dark, uh, Lullaby My Jesus, which is a beautiful arrangement of uh, uh, Peter Warlock's music from the Capriol Suite. Um, we have uh, extracts from Handel's Messiah, the version that we recorded in March, uh, What Sweeter Music by John Rutter, and of course, the big news is the premiere of Patrick Hawes' amazing Still, Still the Night, which you haven't heard yet, and you'll be hearing very shortly. So all of those pieces are, uh, are in our pack for Christmas. Now, we will learn all of it, but as always with Self-Isolation Choir, a big part of what we do is for those of you who want to, we're going to ask you to record some of this Christmas music. And the deadline for this is quite tight. So in order so that we can do this, and please bear, bear in mind that you don't have to record. And if you do record, you don't have to record everything. But we do uh, teach you everything. And if you would like to then take part in the final performance and record yourself, send it in. We will mix it with our wonderful engineers. And on December the 20th, we will hear you singing a lot of this music. So uh, on the chart here, you'll see some bits highlighted in yellow. Those are the bits that we have to record. Record. Okay, so the plan is this week we will look at just the anthems that we're recording. Next week we'll look at the remainder of the music to be recorded and then you can start the, uh, the process. In fact, you can probably start the process this week. And then the third week we'll be uh, learning all the bits that we're not going to be recording but we'll be singing along with. 
All right, so this week, the pieces that we'll be studying in our standalone rehearsals will be The Three Kings. We will look at Lullaby My Jesus, verse 2, and we will learn Still, Still the Night. All right, those are the three pieces for this week. Next week, we will learn all the other bits, which are the carol, harmonies, and so on, that we're going to record. Now, all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate there's quite a lot to uh, to take on board. The main thing is that this is about creating that wonderful magic uh, that you get at a Christmas performance. And if you've been singing with choirs uh, at all in your life, you know how special Christmas is uh, for musicians. This year, obviously, we're going to be... This is a very different Christmas for all of us. And I think that we have the opportunity to make something really, really special. Now tonight what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through all of these pieces. We're going to uh, enjoy them. If you'd like to sing along, you're very, very welcome to. There's no expectation to sing tonight unless you, you know the piece. And tomorrow comes the, uh, the fun of starting to learn the music. All right, so we're going to make a start with Once in Royal David City. And our, our, our very special uh, Once in Royal this year that will be where the first verse is sung by a choir of children. And we've already had our first rehearsal with the children. We're already receiving recordings. They will be mixed as well. And so our first verse will be sung by a soloist. So if I could ask everybody, if you're going to uh, join in and sing with me tonight, we'll start in a moment with Once in Royal. And uh, we'll have the first verse sung by a treble soloist. But I think before we do any singing, I think we'll get warmed up. So if I can invite you, once you've found your music, to put everything down and to stand up for me, be upstanding. And I'm going to go full screen. So if you would make the noise with me as we go from split screen to full screen. There we are, everybody. So once you find your music, as I say, put it down. Stand up for me. Plant those feet a shoulders width apart. Very good. Make those knees soft. Maybe swing your hips left and right. Find that point where your weight is balanced. Give yourself a straight back and a long neck. And everybody, just gather up some breath. Take a deep breath for me and blow the air away from you. <sighs> Fantastic. Should we do that again? Make your mouth nice and tall. Breathe in for me. And blow the air away. <sighs> Great. And just one more really, really deep breath. Gather all that up, and then just blow away anything that's worrying you or stressing you. Off you go. Wonderful. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Now, just breathing normally, as we always do, just roll your shoulders around a little bit. And once you've rolled them in one direction, well, roll them the other way. Fantastic. Bring your shoulders up to your ears. Take a deep breath. And as you breathe out, relax and let your shoulders fall. Very good, everybody. Well done. Now, do remember, please, drink uh, drink your water whenever you need to. If you ever feel, as we're singing, I could do with a drink of water, well, listen to your body, take a drink, and uh, rehydrate yourself. So I'm going to have a sip now. And let's just do a little bit of, uh, of humming and just general warming up of the voice. So we'll start on the C here, and we're going to go ho, ho, ho with me. Ho, 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 and again. Ho, 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 one more time. Ho, 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 and again. Ho, 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 your turn. My turn. Ya, 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 your turn. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Ho, ho, ho. Excellent. Yo, yo, yo. Very good. He, he, he. And ya, ya, ya. And one more. Yo, 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 your turn. Thank you very, very much indeed, everybody. Now, if you need to do a more substantial warm-up, do consider pausing the stream, um, spending a bit of time warming your voice up. But we're going to get started, everybody, uh, by having a quick sing-through once in Royal David City. This is the first carol. This is going to be what opens our performance in a few weeks' time. Now, the first verse will be sung, as I've said, by a choir of uh, solos. A choir of soloists, if that makes sense. But our performance tonight is sung by Richard Gowers. Now, Richard Gowers is a very talented man. Back in 2007, he sang the solo as a treble at King's College, Cambridge, and this is his performance. Uh, fast forward 13 years, he is an immensely talented musician and organist, and he has recorded all of the Christmas music for us. So we're going to have Richard 
singing solo and then the wonderful voices of the Recordare Choir who have uh, been working with us all year and we're really, really uh, delighted and so, so pleased that Recordare have recorded all this for us with Richard accompanying. So solo from Richard at the start and then Richard will, will grow up 13 years and play the organ. So can we please just allow that first verse to pass and then join in and let's sing once in Royal. Now, I'm not sure we'll do the entire thing because we have quite a lot to get through, but we'll sing a couple of verses. All right, so Richard, take it away. Once in everybody here we go going to stop it there ladies and gentlemen we will uh, we'll do a full sing through of that when we've had a chance to learn the harmony and there is a wonderful descant to be learned as well so sopranos looking forward to hearing you sing that one so once in royal will start us off and of course that wonderful uh, children's choir will be a very very special way to start our performance now following once in royal david city the first uh, lesson will be read by our very own Mark Strawn, uh, and that will be a video that will pop up on screen. And then, well, Self Isolation Choir, you get the first, uh, the first performance, the first solo performance. This is the Three Kings. So, can we have a look at the Three Kings? You'll find this one in your OUP pack, uh, and this one is on. It starts on page twenty-three in my OUP score pack. If you're using Carols for Choirs or something similar, you'll find it on page one hundred and thirty-six. Um, but you want the uh, the score pack that we've given you. And this is this wonderful piece by Peter Cornelius. And it is a chorale, this, this lovely, very simple chordal uh, choir part with a melody uh, sol uh, sung by a soloist over the top. Um, now, the solo has not yet been recorded, ladies and gentlemen, because, well, I'm going to be singing that solo with you. And I'll be honest, folks, this is something I've really been looking forward to. Ever since we started this choir back in late March, early April, 
I've been looking forward to singing with you. So what we've done in order so that we can put this together in isolation is um, I have recorded this uh, or the choral parts for you along with my wonderful wife Anna who sung the soprano and alto for us. Um, so this is very much the England choir um, singing these parts for you. And once you've recorded your line and it's all put together, I will then record the solo so I can hear you as I sing. I can't wait. So this one, if you've never sung it before, it is absolutely beautiful. What you're going to hear tonight is some piano in order to represent where the solo is and just the choir parts. We'll learn this one this week and then you can start recording it and then I can record it. So let's take this one all the way through from the beginning. I do need to let you know, folks, uh, we have a tradition on this channel of doing, doing things at Baroque pitch. We're doing this one in G flat major, so it's going to be a semitone lower than written, just in case anybody's there going, why is this sounding a little bit flat? We're doing it in G flat rather than in G. Baroque pitch, if you like, okay? So uh, this is how this one goes. If you've never sung it before, follow the choral part along. I might put a couple of bits of sneaky solo in just to give you an idea how it sounds, but this one is The Three Kings. So here we go. So this is the solo. Thank you so much, everybody, for, for singing that one. Now, honestly, um, when when I get all of those files together, I, I can already tell I'm going to be incredibly emotional singing that one with you. So thank you in advance for all of your, your hard work recording that one. It is so, so beautiful. And what I love about it, I think, is that to begin with, it's, it's just so quiet so gentle and then that last three bars you have this explosion of, of of joy and of sound and then right back down again it's going to be wonderful so the three kings everybody there we are we'll learn it this week and you can start recording it well as soon as you've learned it so that is going to be the second piece the uh the second lesson is going to be read by sopranos and thank you to everybody who's recorded the lessons and sent them in as we've said we're going to be cutting lines out from your recordings and creating a, a, a unique uh, something absolutely unique uh, where where the choir will do the readings and that's going to be wonderful so sopranos will be uh, the second reading then we have in the bleak midwinter and this is the version by harold dark not the version by gustav holst 
Uh, and so this is the one with the solo soprano and solo tenor, first and third verse. And Record Dare is going to perform this one with us. We're not going to be recording it, but of course we will learn the music so you can sing along at home. So let's have a little sing through uh, in the bleak midwinter. As I've already said, um, <laughs> the, the score for this is labelled uh, dark in the BMW, which is not quite the same thing. But uh, we have the wonderful Record Dare singing. And um, well... For those of you who know uh, the Self-Isolation Choir, who've been with us throughout the year, you'll have met my wonderful colleague Harry Bradford. Well, he has recorded the tenor solo for you. So everybody, let's enjoy Record Diary singing In the Bleak Midwinter. We'll be learning this one next week, or probably more likely the week after. But let's sing this one, and if you know it, do sing along. Here we go. Take it away, Record Diary. <laughs> three on that first page. Enough for him whom cherubim worship night and day, a breast full of milk and a manger full of hay.
Splendid. Well done to Record Diary. Thank you so much for that wonderful singing. Harry, a fantastic solo. Well done, sir. And, of course, Richard's wonderful organ playing. So, everybody, we will learn that lovely piece. We're not going to record it, but we will enjoy singing it nonetheless. And just in case, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, and you've, if you've never sung anything like this before, if you're in any way worried about, you know, am I going to learn all this in time or can I keep up with the rehearsals? Of course, one of the great things about our choir is you can just watch the rehearsals anytime you like. Uh, and just practice those bits that you, you think you need help with, uh, and you'll you'll get there. All right, so everybody, that was a really, really lovely performance, and well done again to Record Diary. So after that lovely, lovely piece, we will have another lesson. This time, it'll be the Altos reading, uh, reading lesson number three. And again, thank you, Altos, for sending all that in. Now, the next carol is something very, very special. This is Lullaby My Jesus. So could everybody turn to this one, please? This one, again, is in your... Uh, no, sorry, it's not in the OU pack, OUP pack. This is a separate score. And this is the, uh, the piece by Peter Warlock, and it's been transcribed by Andrew Carter. And this is an absolutely beautiful piece of of music by peter warlock now peter warlock is a uh, was a uh, british composer and uh, he, his real name was philip arthur heseltine um, but he preferred the name peter warlock because it made him sound more dangerous and in fact he was a very dangerous character um i i could go off on one about with a lecture about him but if you're in any way interested do look him up um he just a little bit of uh, interest he used to write music criticism under the name of rab uh, rab nulas rab nulas uh, and submit these for, for publication. And it wasn't until many years later people realised he must have written them in the pub because Rab Nulas backwards is saloon bar. Um, so anyway, <laughs> that's apropos of nothing. This piece is absolutely lovely. We have two verses in this performance and we are singing the second verse, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so when we listen in a moment to Record Diary singing this one, uh, obviously, enjoy that first verse. We will we will sing it. We will learn it. But we're going to record verse two. Okay. So we're going to enjoy record. I sing the whole thing for tonight. We will learn both parts. But I'm only going to ask you to record uh, verse two. All right. So everybody, this is lullaby, my Jesus. If you're going to sing along, here are your notes. <laughs> And Record Diary singing for us one more time. Here we go. And.
can I just start by saying, Record Diary, that was a fantastic performance. Really beautifully sung. Can we thank Record Diary for that? That was remarkable. And as I was sitting there conducting away, listening in particular to that second verse, I could hear you out there, ladies and gentlemen. I could hear it already. That's going to be absolutely brilliant. Now, I do concede, when you listen to it, you think, goodness me, that is hard. There's a lot of really quite uh, intense harmonic clashes there. Lots of these chords, you think that's going to be tricky. And there will be some bits that you will need to practice before you record, those of you that are going to do that. But I think you'll find, as with a lot of these pieces, once you extract your part, and we'll just learn your line together in our sectional rehearsals, you'll find actually it flows really rather well, uh, and it's you know, beautifully, beautifully written. If you are, if you like that, you've never heard any more of Peter Warlock's music, can I thoroughly recommend uh, going and having a listen to the whole Capriol Suite. It is wonderful. Uh, and there's another piece by Peter Warlock called Bethlehem Down, which we're not doing this year, but again, I would thoroughly recommend you'll love it. So everybody, that's Lullaby My Jesus, and it's going to be really, really beautiful and really emotional. Now, what follows that is going to be O Come, All Ye Faithful. Uh, we're going to do all six verses, okay? Uh, and in the sixth verse, we will sing, Yea, Lord, we greet thee, born on Christmas morning. Uh, and we will enjoy that. Uh, so uh, what we'll do is we'll just have a little sing through uh, just one verse for tonight because I see that time is running low and I want to get to everything, in particular, um, still, still the night, of course. So let's have a verse of O Come Ye Faithful and uh, when I see you next Monday, we'll do all of these carols all the way through. So you'll need the uh, OUP pack for this one. This is page five and here we go. going to pause it there and apologies to record and to richard i know we all want to sing that one we will be singing the david wilcox uh, uh, uh desk hand sopranos so sing choirs of angels sing in exalting okay so lots and lots of fun but I, I imagine there will be a few gentlemen out there like myself who sang that as a treble who'll give it a go uh, give up on around bar three and then sing the tune <laughs> so we will learn that one if you've never sung the desk hand before you're going to learn it next week if you've never learnt the harmony for this one I and mean, this is the lovely thing about all these carols you can learn it with us this year for the first time and then next year you'll you'll know the harmony so that's going to be really really good you can see from uh, from our schedule and don't don't worry we will send all this out sic is going to record verses one two five and six okay so a big chunk of uh, self-isolation choir with two verses sung by record diary in the middle okay so that's so come are you faithful now i'm going to skip st uh, still still the night i'm going to play it to you last because <laughs> I mean, uh, we're going to have a look at Messiah now, everybody. Okay, so Messiah at home uh, is the next item. Uh, and so we're going to be singing uh, various bits from this, including, for, well, the, the section from For Unto Us a Child is Born, all the way through to uh, Glory to God. So that's really, really exciting, everybody. And uh, so if everyone could please have a look at that. And I'm just going to get my score here. Bear with me a moment. Okay. So, for unto us a child is born. We will be learning this one in two weeks' time. For those of you who don't know it, 
and uh, lots and lots of fun. Those of you that sang on Messiah at home will remember that this one was, um, well, <laughs> this one always gets people going at Christmas time. And you do need uh, and you do need a bit of handle, don't you? Right, everybody. <laughs> I've just seen the comments. What? You're mean. That's right, folks. You have met me, right? So here is uh, here is for unto us a child is born, and of course, again, for those of you that have just joined us for this uh, this wonderful course, this choir was formed to sing Handel's Messiah in the spring, and so everything that you're about to hear was recorded in isolation during the first lockdown, uh, including every single note played by the instrumentalists. And so what I'll do, we won't have, I don't think we've got time to do everything, because I do, as I say, want to get to uh, Still Still the Night. So let's have For Unto Us from Messiah. So take it away, please, Self-Isolation Choir. And... Uh... <laughs> Thank you. 
goodness me. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I have heard that recording hundreds of times. It never fails, never fails to make me feel on top of the world. And again, I keep having to say every single note of that in the orchestra and in the choir was recorded in isolation and just, well... That that was astonishing. Uh, everyone who sang on that recording, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, what a, what an instrumental team. Thank you to Lawrence, thank you to Rebecca, thank you to everybody. That was brilliant. Now, of course, when we sing this uh, for Christmas, that will be one of the two choruses in the set. The other one is Glory to God. Uh, and if we have time at the end, I'll play you that one. But we have so much to listen to tonight. Um, so look out for that one in a couple of weeks. There will be uh, some beautiful little restatives in the middle and then Glory to God. And that's going to be our Messiah set. All right. So everybody, um, have a quick sip of drink. Rehydrate yourselves because uh, the next thing is Silent Night. So uh, cheers and have a quick sip. Now, in your packs... Um, you may or may not, and forgive me, I'm not sure about this, there may be, you might have two versions of Silent Night. Now, the one that we are after is the uh, just the single page, okay? The very, very simple one. Uh, we did discuss, and um, I, I'm sure Mark won't mind me saying, we were looking at licensing a different version, David Wilcox's version, which is lovely and really, really nice, but I'm afraid I, 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 uh, <laughs> I did that conductive thing of going, hmm, and I, I, I said, can we just do a really, really simple, very straightforward, um, about as simple as it gets. You know, boil, if you boil Silent Night down, what is it? It is voices united singing, uh, singing for peace, singing for love. And so the version that we're going to be singing, folks, uh, is is that. So we don't want the version in the OUP pack. We want the other one. And uh, so what I'm going to do is turn to that. If everyone could do the same. There we go, Silent Night, S-A-T-B. So it's the one that looks, if you can see that, if you can, the one that looks like that, just the one pager. All right, everybody? So again, we have Record Diary leading us for this one, but S-I-C, that is to say, you folks will be recording the third verse. And I can't wait to hear you all sing it. So let's have a verse of this with Record Diary. Here are your notes. <laughs> So this is Silent Night. And let's all sing this one together. Here we go. And. Silent Night. Beautiful performance. And again, folks, we will be singing with Record Diary for the first two verses, and then the third verse we will sing all together. So we'll be learning that one next week, along with the harmony for the other uh, the other Christmas carols, so we can get that all mixed. And um, my plan is that third verse will take the organ out, and it will just be the choir. And um, my goodness me, that will be very, very moving, very, very powerful. Thank you, everybody. OK, so Silent Night will be followed by... Oh, I've missed out a whole load of readings. Ever so. <laughs> so um, Lesson 4 was read by the tenors. OK, so tenors, you've already recorded that. That's brilliant. Lesson 5 was read by the basses. Um, lesson 6, which is just before Messiah, which I should have been, which I should have said about 10 minutes ago, is read by our very own Mark Cease. OK, I've noticed Mark, Mark spelt wrong on there, Mark, just to say. Um, so our very own Mark Cease, who does all of our graphics and website, he's going to do uh, the sixth lesson, and that's going to be great. Uh, after Messiah, our wonderful, my wonderful colleague Ellie, uh, who conducted that wonderful Lord's Prayer and is working on the Bach St. John Passion with you, she's going to read the seventh lesson. Uh, after Silent Night, which we've just heard, my fantastic colleague and Marla superstar, uh, John Warner will read the eighth lesson. 
Then we will have What's Sweeter Music by John Rutter. And this will be sung by Record Diary. And so we will, uh, again, we will learn and we will sing along with them. We won't be recording this one. Um, but, folks, this was one of my requests for you to sing. Because um, I love this one. And we've we had such a lovely time singing John Rutter's music in the summer, all of that you know for the beauty of the earth and all things bright and beautiful and that that wonderful choral amen. And for me, you know, Christmas is is a time to sing John Rutter's music. I've grown up singing it, and he's written so many great pieces. This one, I think, is is the best. That's my personal personal opinion. Let's enjoy Record Diary's version. If, again, if you've never heard it, we're going to be learning this one in two weeks' time uh, and singing it with them on the 20th of December. So do enjoy, everybody. You'll find this one in your OUP pack. It's on page 13. Here is What's Sweeter Music. Here we go. <laughs> What sweet time music can we bring that a girl for to sing the birth of this unhappy king? Awake the voice, awake the sweet. Dark and dull night, fly hands away. And give the honor to this day that sees December and to May. That sees December and to May. Why does the chilling winter's morn smile like a field beset with corn, or smell like a meadow newly shorn, thus on the sudden come and see the cause why things thus fragrant be. Tis his Sweet it is, this kind of wonder 
Isn't that just lovely? Such a gorgeous piece of music. Again, Recordari, what a fantastic job you've done of recording all of this. And of course, again, everybody, it's all recorded in isolation. All of these voices, they sound like they're all in the same room. They've recorded them in isolation. And as we record and as we rehearse over the coming weeks, you're going to have these tracks but with your parts louder so there's a soprano part there's an alto part you can sing along with your parts uh it's a, a really i think a fantastic resource again no one's ever done it quite like this before and um oh lovely stuff now everybody i've i've kept you waiting long enough let's please have a look at still still the night this is something very 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 special indeed now those of you that have been in the choir this year um, will know of Quanta Qualia by Patrick Hawes. It has become an, an unofficial, but I, I suspect soon to be official, anthem of this choir. Oh my soul, wait, how great and how wonderful the joys of the meeting will be. Those are the words in Latin um, set to Patrick's incredible music, and we learned it in the summer, we recorded it, and it's, it's just so, so powerful, so, so beautiful. We obviously premiered it Patrick was delighted and when we asked him would he consider writing a special carol for us well you're holding in your hands ladies and gentlemen the results this is a brand new piece no one has heard it we will be uh, premiering it on the 20th of December um, I still can't believe if you open up our wonderful score here at the top of the fourth page it says premiered as a virtual performance by the self-isolation choir as under the musical direction of Ben England December 2020. This is amazing, everybody. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to listen to and enjoy the whole thing. I would invite you, if you've... Well, obviously you haven't heard the piece before, but don't sing along with this, okay? This particular playthrough. Just allow the sound of the piece to wash over you. I, I said on Twitter yesterday, and if you're on Twitter, you can follow me, at Mr. Ben England. We can have a chat. It's lovely. I said on, on Twitter that Patrick's music here is both brand new and timeless it sounds both like there's, there's a lot of hints of christmas past you'll you'll think oh that sounds a little bit like britain or that sounds a little bit like Howells, and of course it sounds like patrick he has done a fantastic job the words have been written for us and the words are about us andrew has written these words um and he's he's the, the, uh, patrick's written a note here i'm not going to read it out because i want you to hear the music read that read the uh, dedication to us and read these words in your own time everybody it's absolutely wonderful now we will be starting this one tomorrow sopranos when i see you are going to learn still still the night lullaby my jesus and the three kings okay that's our plan for everybody this week but this is how it goes so here are the notes in case anybody really really wants to sing along here we go. Shine, 
not much you can say about that other than to say thank you so much patrick thank you so much andrew that is exquisite and i cannot wait to hear this choir record and sing that and be the first choir in the world first big choir anyway <laughs> to sing that record diary a wonderful wonderful performance uh, and I, I said about patrick's music yesterday it is both it is iridescent it, it shines uh, and those wonderful chords are so so beautiful well everybody i'm sure you you enjoyed that i can't wait to teach it to you we're starting tomorrow we have one more piece of music uh, to sing. Before that, I just need to tell you who the last lesson will be read by. The last lesson, just before our last carol, which is going to finish tonight, everyone. Uh, well, the last lesson's read by Marina Mahler, the granddaughter of Gustav Mahler, whose second symphony we, uh, we performed on Saturday. What a huge honour. And, of course, that will lead us into Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Now, if you would please, if you've sat back down again, can I invite you to stand and sing with Record Diary and with me while we sing all three verses of Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And then, well, we are off to the races, everybody. The course is, has begun, and tomorrow, tomorrow we start learning. So sopranos tomorrow, altos on Wednesday, tenors on Thursday, basses on Friday. Uh, and I can't wait to get started with you folks. So let's sing together. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, again with Record Diary and Richard Gowers. Thank you so much for being here, everyone, and I'll see you shortly uh, later this week. Here we go.
Wow. Ladies and gentlemen of the Self-Isolation Choir, Christmas has officially started. Welcome to Christmas at Home, and I will see you later this week. Well done, everyone. Look out for emails from Mark, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed tonight. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye, folks.